What's up, Android fans? This is Tech for Nick and I'm from UltimateDroid.BlackSpot.com. With me, I'm going to show you how to install Xenon HD Jellybean RAM for your Galaxy Nexus GSM and Verizon phone. Unfortunately, this RAM does not support Sprint, so that is a big down. Sorry for all the Sprint users. Lately, there haven't been a lot of Sprint custom RAMs that I've been showing. Sorry about that. They don't support all of them, so I can't really show you. But anyway, this is Xenon RAM. It is rock stable. And if you want to see all the full features the RAM offers and all that, definitely, definitely take a look at the RAM review right there. And see if this RAM is made for you, all the features that you like and stability and all that issues are good to go for your preference. So right away we're going to plug our phone in via micro USB. And while I'm talking to this, make sure you download all the zip files from the description below. Make sure everything is downloaded, all the zip files that you need will be in the description below. And uh, uh, plug on the other side via micro or USB. All right, like I said earlier, make sure you have the zip files down. They will be in the description below. And also make sure you have Clockwork Mod Recovery already installed on your phone. You don't have to be rooted. You just have to have Clockwork Mod Recovery installed on your device. If you don't have it installed on your device, you can look right there. I have it for Mac and then Windows. I have installed Clockwork Mod Recovery on your Galaxy Nexus GS and Verizon and Sprint. So once you get all that done, we're going to be transferring the zip file. This one is actually for Mangro, which is GSM, and this one is for Toro, also known as Verizon. And everybody's going to be transferring G apps. So uh, since I am on Mac, I'm going to be using Android File Transfer. If you're on Windows, just use the default export ones that you transfer. I'm going to use the Android File Transfer. I'll have a link to the program in the description below as well if you're wondering how do I transfer if I'm on a Mac. So this is Mangro, I'm going to be transferring that onto my device as you can see it's transferring and I'm also be transferring G apps onto my device so I'll be back when this is complete alright seems like all the files have been transferred everything is complete since everything has been transferred and done you can unplug your phone via micro USB and we're going to rest the process on our phone from clockwork mod recovery okay we got the transfer is complete and we have clockwork mod recovery so right away we're going to be trans we're going to entering into clockwork mod recovery mode so just power off your phone, you have, bleh, using the power button, of course. And we'll be entering the clockwork mode recovery mode. Alright, since it's turned off now, press the volume up, volume down, and power button all at the same time. Just keep pressing until you feel a vibration. Alright, now you'll be on this screen, press the power up, or the volume up twice. You'll see recovery, press the power now, just like to go into recovery mode. Alright, you'll now be on this screen. So, first of all, we're gonna clear all the data, all the cache, so you don't soft break your phone and you'll, and you'll be less likely to run into problems. So, make sure you back up all your data. If you haven't backed up your data, make sure you select the first run reboot system now that will reboot you back into your normal phone and back up all your files onto your computer. So, after you got that done, enter back into here and do wipe data slash factory reset. It's the third one. And select yes using power button and volume up and down to navigate. Alright, now we're going to go to wipe cache partition, that is the fourth one down, and it'll be done to yes. Now we're going to go into advanced, the last one, and select wipe Dalvik cache. All the done to yes, and select it. Alright, now we're going to go back, install zip from SD card, choose zip from SD card. And find that Xenon HD Jelly Bean ROM that you transferred earlier. As you can see, mine is right there. Select that and select Power just like before to select and install the zip file. Alright, that is complete. Now, once again, we're going to go choose zip from SD card and we're going to install those G apps. Also known as Google Apps, Google Talk, Gmail, all that. Google, especially Google Play Store that everybody needs. So you can see it's right there G apps Jelly Bean. Select that and select yes so this will take a few seconds all right it is done in installing gapps so i'm going to go back and reboot system now since you're installing a new custom ram for the very first time please be patient because the boot animation will take a five to ten minutes and only, only on the very first time because you're installing a new custom ram so please be patient I'll wait till this starts up and show you that it's on the new Xenon HD Jelly Bean ROM for your Galaxy Nexus. So it's good. Just wait. Be, please be patient. 
Okay, it's done booting up. As you can see, I'm on low battery, so I will try to make this quick as possible. Skip through all this. All right, it's done. I'm done setting it up. Let me go into settings and show you that's actually on the Xenon HD Jelly Bean ROM for your Galaxy Nexus GSM and Verizon. And there you go, you got Android version 4.1.1 Jelly Bean, kernel version, and Xenon 9.1. So that was just released today if you're watching this video. So that is how you install Xenon HD Jelly Bean ROM on your Galaxy Nexus GSM and Verizon. Hope you found this installation helpful. And if you're wondering, should I install or should I not? Please watch a full review on what features it offers, all the improvements, GPS, camera fixes, awesomeness, and there's also secret sauce. So that's a big bonus. Check it out. Check what's there. Thanks for watching, guys. Don't forget to subscribe before you haven't and rate this video. If you need help on any Android support, contact me on Facebook, Twitter, and Google Plus, and email me at techmanagline at gmail.com. All links in the description below. See ya.